Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Des Reacts, and today I have an Angelina Jordan reaction video for you. And in this one, she covers the Chris Isaac song "Wicked Game," and I don't mind this song. I do know this song. Like sometimes she sings songs that I'm not too aware of, or I haven't really listened to that much. But I know this one. I I, I am aware of this, so I'm looking forward to seeing how she covers it. Usually, it's the case that like in the title, you'll find out like how old she is when she sings it and things like that. But I don't know for this one, so it's going to be interesting to see. And yeah, I did that. I've been like, this is the first cover, like the first video that I've done where it's been a cover for a couple of weeks now. That I've been, no, not a couple, about a week. I've been focusing more on our original songs and everything, like as of late. So, like, that's been taking my focus away. But yeah, I I I want to get back to doing some of the covers of hers as well because I don't know. I love lis I love listening to cover songs. Like as as good as her original songs have been, and I mean I really enjoyed Seventh Heaven. I thought that was such a good song, like upbeat and like different to what I've listened to of, of hers so far. But yeah, so I I, I do want to. I will always come back to the covers as well because I I do love a cover. And even if it's the case that like if it's a well-known artist that they're at in the charts and they've got all their own music and things like that. Like, for example, um, earlier today, I, I, well, it wasn't today that I found out, a few days ago, I found out that Miley Cyrus uh, sung the song the first time ever I saw your face. And I didn't know. I had no idea. It was only when I, I reacted to Angelina Jordan doing it. And then someone said, oh, Miley Cyrus sings it well. And I'm like, what? Anna Montana. I think she's Anna Montana. And then Wrecking Ball. No, she can't sing a song like that. And then I went and listened to it and it was brilliant. So, yeah, I, I do love artists when they cover other songs. So, I'll always come back to it. But I'm looking forward to this. I am looking forward to it. So, let's get into this. I'm trying to think that like it's coming to a point now because obviously I've done a lot of Angelina Jordan videos so now like a lot of people told me that like it, this year she's going to be releasing her own album and she, they've already said that it apparently it's already been announced that it's going to be all original songs but I don't know I just think that like her covering songs like this showcases that's what I like about cover songs because it it, it can showcase what you can do whereas like if it is the case that, like, Angelina Jordan comes in the chart, and this is just my opinion, basically. Angelina Jordan, like, finishes school, she releases her album, and they're trying to get it out there with her original song. So people turn around and say, she she sung this song called Shield, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll listen to it. But then, like, you can turn around and say, she covered the Chris Isaac song, Wicked Game, and it sounds really good. Not only are you appealing to, like, 
the mega fans of Chris Isaac and then like the fans of just the song itself and then people that actually just know the song. I'm not the, a massive fan of this song, but I do know the song quite well and she is singing it incredibly, incredibly well. And I think that's why I think I would have preferred an album which is mixed between covers and originals because not only will covers entice a lot more people to come in and listen because they already know that song, so they want to see how she can perform it, but it also then like gets the spotlight on her to then broadcast the originals as well if that makes sense on another note like this is brilliant this is a brilliant rendition of the song it is i'm like, i'm really enjoying this no, i don't want to fall in love i don't want to fall in love with you is this a fan-made video or is this a video from her official channel? I really don't know because it like it had her playing it on the keyboard and things like that and then it's like gone on to her on the beach and then like all of these what seem like stock photos. So is it a fan-made video or is it just that someone's taking it from her channel that it was made up like this? I'm not sure. that That's something that I'd, I'd want to know. <laughs> On fire, and no one could save me but you. It's strange what desire make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. I don't want to fall in love I don't want to fall in love Okay, yeah, so that that answers my question. <laughs> it was a fan-made video. It was a nicely made fan-made video. It was. I'm not gonna lie. I really like a lot of the scenic routes in that. Like a lot of the so, scenic routes, a lot of the like scenery videos and everything in that as well. But but yeah, it, like in in regards to the singing, that like I said, I just think that with her album, she needs to have some covers on there. That a cover like this, I think, would entice a lot of people to listen to her more. But then also. I think if she was to have a cover on there, like for Suspicious Minds, like Suspicious Minds was the first song that I reacted to of Angelina Jordan. And after listening to that, my dad is a massive Elvis fan. Like he's, he's an Elvis mega fan, basically. So I went straight to him and said, listen to this girl sing Suspicious Minds. You're going to love it. And then like he, he listened to that and he liked it and like other people that I've shown. And I think that will be the case that like because Suspicious Minds is such a big song that if they can release a cover like that or the Billie Jean one or the Bohemian Rhapsody, something along them lines that people know that song, that song is already big. I think that's what can build a fan base. And I think a song like Seventh Heaven could do it as well. If that if that was like put out there more and advertised more and people started to hear it more, I think that is one that could really like hit the charts as well. But yeah, I, I mean... I've I've really enjoyed listening to Angelina Jordan since I started to, like doing music on the channel and like I said it will be the case that I'm doing originals but I will always come back to covers as well that 
I, I have this fascination with covers and it's not just Ang Angelina Jordan. I've been watching other artists as well that like Morissette, for example, people are telling me that like she's got a lot of uh, original songs and I'm aware of them and I've, I've got them all on a list and I will get round to doing them. But for some reason, like I'll do one or two and then I'm like, let me go do some covers again. And then I'll do like 10 covers before I go back to the original. So yeah, that, that probably is going to be the case with Angelina Jordan, but it doesn't matter. I've got a lot of content to get through to be fair. And, like it is the case i do want to do million moles though because a lot of people have been telling me a lot of things about that so i do want to do million moles so that's probably going to be my next one but guys listen thank you all for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this if there is any other angelina jordan you want me to react to let me know in the comments down below and i will get around to doing it so take it easy see you in the next one